Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this area cleaned up, but I have a whole nother area that needs to be decluttered. Oh my gosh, I've let things get out of control. So, okay, that's what we'll do next. Okay, everybody, sorry about there's some, some construction going on in the background. But check out this that I have let get out of control. So today I am just going to work on this. I'll probably speed it up, but I'll let you watch some and see how it goes. So here we go. I've just let things get out of control. And I am going to put things away as I, as I declutter so everything can go back in its correct spot so i'm i'm gonna take this iphone stand i have my mini ipad on it but it got out of date and this tool needle nose pliers and i'm gonna go put them away where they belong i've got this windex here but it's gonna stay here until i can clean these areas off this is a box that i purchased I don't know Marshalls or TJ Maxx and I am going to put this probably in a donation pile or give it to my daughter it shouldn't have got in my oh it says Hobby Lobby so I don't know I might return this These are some paintings that either, and some mats that need to either be framed or just put in my to-do pile. And some of them may be um, um, needed to be added to. So we'll see. them away okay there's a couple of them I might need to frame this is a little picture that was sitting over on my other desk I may reframe that these are some kids sunglasses I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in the trash these are some canvases that I am going to add to so I'm gonna put them behind my desk and set them to be worked on later. Here's some embroidery thread that I found in some pictures. So I'm going to put them in my miscellaneous or other art materials. Okay, here is a cigar box that I am going to do a project with. So I am going to, but I'm not quite ready to do it. So I'm going to put that away. Here's some new oil sticks that I purchased at the art store. And I'm going to put them with my other oils and mixed media stuff. Here's a Masterson Stay Wet palette. I'm going to put that with my acrylic palettes. I don't know that I have an acrylic box. I may have to get an acrylic box. I know I have most of my acrylics over on... Um, my art stand. Here's some tissue paper. I'm going to put that with my miscellaneous mixed media. I'm trying to put things where they belong in the first place so I don't have a mess as I go. Here, that was just paper behind the frame. Here's a sketchbook where I've pressed some flowers. So, oh yeah, there's a there's a pressed hydrangea. So I'm going to put that on my shelf over here with my other sketchbooks. Are some other sketchbooks. So I'm gonna put them with my sketchbooks. Now these are some books that have, I like these, they're, um, prayer books and devotion books 
and I am going to pass these on to someone else that can benefit from them. I've learned some of these tips from a YouTuber called The Minimal Mom, and she has some great decluttering tips, and she has some great inspirational videos, too. Okay, here goes into the other paint room. This is my um, SCUT operating manual. I definitely need that to be at hand when I um, fire things, because I do ceramics, too. Here's some computer paper, so I just need to put that over by my computer and printer. Here is some things I pulled from inside the house as I was de decluttering. Um, pastel paper, me tins, and a drawing paper, so I'll put them with my sketchbooks. So here are some folders that I need to put in the filing cabinet in the other room. Or I could actually put them at the back of my filing cabinet in here. So yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I got all these brown paper bags. So I think that they make good collage paper. So I am going to store them in the other room where I do my big canvases. And here's also some cloth pieces that I'm going to store in my mixed media paper or mixed media box. There's some stray envelopes. I'm just going to get rid of them because there's no way I'm going to use them. Here is some UFO paper. I will keep that. I don't know where to put these. Um, even in there, I'm not sure where to put them. But we'll go through that in another day. So I'm going to pause the video and take these in there. That might be cool for some collage. But I will get rid of the Walmart sack. If I put everything in its home where it belongs, then it's manageable. Here is some acrylic glazing liquid. I'll leave that out on my table. This is a lamp that I use for additional lighting sometimes. Here is some change and a little cup that needs to be taken inside. I want to try to minimize even more as time goes on. However, I think that this is what I'm gonna where I'm gonna stop at this point, which is a whole lot. So let me take this camera off and I'll show you. Okay, after a little bit more tidying up and wiping it off with Windex, here is what I have pared down to. Oh my gosh, such, it feels so much better. Now, in the future, I might try to find a different storage solution for my mixed media supplies over on this table other than this because this is just too big and I might end up maybe maybe if I turn it this way it might be better I think I would like a wood um a wooden flatware organizer better because I think it would just be more aesthetically pleasing with the other wood items so, but I'll let you know that in the future. And thanks for sticking around. And thanks for subscribing to my channel. A thumbs up button is 
a great compliment if you um, like these videos. So, until next time, bye guys.